Hello everyone, this is Lottie from Cancer as a Lifestyle. Now, I'm sure you have noticed outside that the temperatures are dropping and winter is just around the corner. I'm sure that many of you have already snow, a major snowman, but not by us. By me, there's still just rain and sleet, a lot of dampness, a lot of cold temperatures, but no snow up yet, or none that are want to stick. So every time this kind of temperature comes around, usually usually it is the cold weather, all my uh, knees, my joints, my ankles, hips, um, they start hurting really badly. Now years ago, I went on a cancer website. It was really a chat room where we could talk to one another. And one of the most common ailments that everyone complained about were Charlie horses. Now, um, what everyone was uh, suggesting to use that they said actually worked beautifully was to put soap under your covers among your legs while you were sleeping. So I had really bad Charlie horses. So I made myself this little pouch out of, I believe this is some uh, really thin, um, thread-like yarn. I made it and I think I put like three bars of soap inside. I have two of these pouches actually and I used Irish Spring because I like the smell of it and uh, so and I put it under these sheets and it has worked beautifully to actually I have no more Charlie horses. Works great. And it also like freshens up your sheets. I mean, you, you know, when I get under the covers, it just smells wonderful. I don't have a problem anymore. I don't know what it is about the soap. Um, it might be the lye in it, but everyone has um, always said that it worked for them. So if you have Charlie horses, please try this. Now, I wish I could remember the name of the website that I went to or the chat room because um, they would have tons of great advice from fellow cancer survivors who would have side effects and what to do um, about them. And it was always refreshing to actually talk to someone else who was going through the same thing. Because, you know, sometimes you're going crazy in your head thinking that, you know, why am I feeling like this? I'm the only one. You tell your doctor and they're always just like, mm, well, I, you know, really, I, I, I didn't know if that's really a side effect from cancer. But there's a lot of side effects that we all have. So anyway, that's, this is good for the Charlie horses. I, I have two of them that I made. Now my mom actually puts them in her penny holes and she uh, leaves them underneath her uh, sheets, but she uses pillow, uh, excuse me, pantyhose. So another thing I use for my aches and joints and pains, I use some green alcohol that someone has suggested to me. Everyone claims this is a great, great thing. Now I've never heard of green alcohol. This is um, very fairly new to me. I've just tried this actually since the summer. This is very inexpensive. If you are on a budget and um, this is only about 89 cents at Walgreens, I mean, excuse me, Walmart. And I use this throughout the day for me. Now, I, I'm not sure how it works for everyone else who has tried it, but for me, it is um, just a quick and easy fix, but it doesn't um, medicate it for long. So if I have any aches or pains, I splash it on and I'm good for a little bit. But then it comes back again, you know. So that's why I leave it on my desk and I use it uh, throughout the day as I get any aches and pains. To me, this kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, um, what is the name of that? Oh, I can't think of it right now. Well, but um, yeah, it's not a quick, it's just a quick fix. It's not something that is long lasting and, um, but it's good for, for the time being when you're in it, you have some pain. Now the next three items I actually use in a bath. Can you see all that? The thing, you can use it in a bathtub and you can also use it in a foot soak. Now 
I do not take baths anymore. They're not safe for me any longer. All my, every bathtub I've ever owned has been very small and uh, there are no guardrails. It is um, difficult for me to get out or into a bathtub. It is, um, yeah, my, my knees especially don't work as well. I have a lot of uh, uh, immobility in them. That means I can't go upstairs very well. Um, any kind of bending is really hard for me. So I do not um, take bubble baths anymore. I wish I could. Um, maybe if I have a, um, a really big tub, a whirlpool tub or anything I can get in, but no guardrails, you know, no handrails to help me uh, hoist myself in and out. So I use these things in the bath, in the baths, uh, excuse me, in the foot soaks. So Epsom salts are awesome. I have them no matter if I just want to have um, soak my um, feet because they hurt. Uh, it doesn't have to be joint pain or anything. It is great for a lot of things and a lot of minor rashes too. So if you can still get into the bathtub, this is great for those uh, bath soaks. Now these are very inexpensive. I bought these this one at Walgreens. I think it was two for $10 and it's quite a large bag. Now, another thing that everyone raves about is this apple cider vinegar. Now, I use it as my foot soak, and uh, it has to be this uh, cider vinegar that has the floaties in it. That's what I call it. It, it, it looks almost like it's spoiled. You know, it's got the floaties in it. But um, it has many uses, and it also claims to uh, be good for your nails, especially if you have brittle nails. So... Um, yeah, this is something else that you can see that I use it quite often. I soak my feet in it and my hands too for my nails. Now, I work at Avon and I have been there for about 23 years. They have a very good uh, product line called Footworks. I love to soak my feet in a foot soak. I love their foot soaks. They have different kinds. Uh, it really feels uh, smooth and uh, silky when you're done. It's just nice to have uh, soak your feet in some hot water with some some view, you know nice smelling you know liquid and that's great. I mean you don't even need to go buy this. You can go online. There are pen plenty online and on Pinterest. Different foot soaks, mostly the detox ones. I have made my own, but somehow the detox ones. The uh, I don't know if I made them wrong. I've never seen them change water. I never seen them. Um, like you know do what they're supposed to what they claim that they're doing so uh, maybe i'm doing them wrong okay now you're not going crazy you are staring at my feet uh, there is a lady on youtube uh, i think her channel is called natural sciences she is a doctor and uh, she gives a lot of helpful health hints and one of the things she suggests for when you are having your joint pain and uh, thrice pain to do these two little exercises in the mornings or in the evenings or whenever. I do this usually when I'm in bed or if I'm sitting down and my legs hurt. So what you're doing is you're, you're just basically pumping. That's what she calls it. It's like you're using your gas pedal and you're going pump, 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 pump. And you do this for a few minutes. And or you can do side to side. I actually prefer side to side because I feel almost like my ankles are cracking. But you do this. Now she claims that the purpose of this is that your any water that you have on your joints, this motion actually releases it, and um, and it you know flushes it out away from your joints and your knees and ankles and all. But, you know, you can also, and it does work. I love this. I do it all the time in bed or when I'm sitting down. I also do a lot of stretching exercises. They feel really good while I'm sitting in bed. Now, you can also, do not forget, to keep yourself very well hydrated. Now, a lot of people take water pills uh, to help them with the water on their joints and all. I drink a lot of fluids. I drink a lot of water, and I drink a lot of tea. These two um, beverages actually uh, flush me out really well, and that's what you want to do. 
Now I hope this you will try this if you have knee pains and joint pain. This is actually feels really good. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that um, you will subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video and comment or share it. And thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.